Hey guys, welcome back. Orbomb here, bringing you another episode of our PTCGO live content. Bleh. Um, how are you guys doing today? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. We're playing some Raichu today. It's been a minute since we visited Raichu, but we're pairing Raichu with Garbodor for a deck that's affectionately called Trash Rats by Pat, the person who sent me this deck list. It's also an ARG winning deck. So keep that in mind as we play the video and as I go over the over the, go over the list because I didn't want to change the list too much because I wanted to try out, see exactly how it's ARG winning because it's a very interesting list. I will say that with some games, I either get stomped on or I win flawlessly. <laughs> Let's go over the stats of these Pokemon. Before we get into the video, be sure to drop a like if you have not already. Subscribe to all the good jazz. We're trying to hit 3,333 followers, subscribers by March 4th, which is my birthday. It's coming up. It's coming up. I just bought myself a bed, actually, so I'm actually going to be able to have a sleep where I'm not sleeping on the ground, not sleeping on a rock mattress. I'm pretty hyped. I'm really, I'm already tired thinking about it, bro. But answer the common question of the day for a chance to win Ultra Prism code. Today we are doing a question of the day that is, what's your favorite Pikachu clone? Because we're playing, of course, Pikachu in the deck. We're also playing Pachirisu, who's like fourth gen Pikachu clone. There's Plus Minin, there's Togenomaru. You get the idea. Who's your favorite Pikachu clone in the comments down below? And yeah. We're gonna have some. We're gonna talk about a recent upload I had as well. But before we, but let's just go ahead and go over the video. So Raichu here is 210 HP Pokemon, weak to fighting, which sucks because because Buzzwell. But we are playing Garbodor with Trash Knight as well that can help us deal with Buzzwell a little bit. Uh, Resistant Metal is pretty useful. Um, that means that the 230, 220 damage I think it is that Solgaleo does doesn't knock us out without a Choice Band. So they need a Choice Band or a Fighting Fury both to knock out a Raichu, which is pretty handy. And that's. Something and it's a one tree cost, so it's overall not very bad stats. Powerful spark does 20 damage times the amount of lightning energy attached to all of your Pokemon. So 20, 20 damage plus 20 more damage. I should have mentioned that. So there's a 20 base damage output as well. So that's pretty good. We want to stack up the board with lightning energies using things like Pachirisu. Uh, we have Thunder as well, which is pretty relevant because if we don't have that many energies on the board and we want to knock out things like Lele's or anything with a choice band, pretty much, we have Thunder that can do that for us. And then Voltail GX is an instant paralysis attack. If your opponent's like pretty low on their hand size, you can you can pretty much guess that they won't be able to get a uh, a Guzma in hand to get out of the situation. You can paralyze them, giving the, giving yourself a free turn to set up the board even more. Excuse me, I got the hiccups for some reason. Eh. But that's right, you. Uh, we're pairing it with what, like I said earlier, Garbodor. We're only playing a three. Three line of Trubbish, but we are playing a 2-2 split of Trash Lanch and uh, Garbotoxin. Garbotoxin, super useful in this current format. Too many decks that have really good abilities that we want to shut off. And then Trash Lanch does help us deal with these decks that are weak to Psychic. Espeon Garb is apparently picking up traction for whatever reason. I think it's because like it won Juniors recently. I don't really get why it's popular again, but it is. So, I guess it's also because Buzzwell is pretty popular. But this also helps us deal with Buzzwell as well. Trash Lanch is being a good attack late game. Um, and we of course we have Garbotoxin, Lucario Chomp, Magnezone, uh, Zoroark, so we can turn off all those abilities and hinder our opponent quite a bit with Trash Lanch, since we don't really need abilities, especially after we play down both of our Leles. We are playing two Leles. We're also playing two Snuggly Generator Pachirisus. <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of the name, but it's a cool attack. It lets you attach energies from your deck to all your Pokemon that have the attack Nuzzle on your bench, which is why we're playing the 60 HP Pikachus instead of the 70 HP Pikachus, because they have Nuzzle. So ideally, we get a turn one Bridget, can put down a bunch of Pikachus, and we and we just snuggly generator all up onto them. And we just attach a bunch of energies to our Pikachu, so that way late game we can attack with lots of energies on the board using Raichu, or mid game, more, more mid game than late game. So that's the Pokemon lineup. As far as the rest of the deck, I don't know why I have it like this, but it is what it is. One Blower, because Blower is Blower. One Super Rock, put energies back in the deck as well as Pokemon. Four Ultra Ball, standard stuff. Uh, two Parallel Cities, Disruption is good. It also is really great whenever you parallel your opponent and they play parallel. That way nobody can parallel except for you. It's pretty great. I love that. Three Bridges to go with our two Lele. It just really help us lead with Thermal Bridges. So ideally we can get as many Thermal Bridges as we possibly can. And here's where I'm a little bit iffy on the deck personally. Uh, these people need to stop. I'm gonna have to unfriend some people if they do keep doing that. <laughs> um, here's where things are a little bit weird. He's playing a two split of all four supporters, right? He has two Cynthia's, two Guzma's, two Ends, and two Sycamores. I personally feel like that's low, and it's even lower without the count of without any pal pads in here. I feel like Garbodor decks really like pal pad. Uh, so I don't know what I would change. And I guess we can find out as we play the as we play the deck. But I would personally add more draw supporters and more pal pads. But I'm not the creator of the deck. I wish I had the name of the creator. All I know is that I won an ARG, and this is the version that Pat sent me. So shout out to Pat. He's a good friend. Um, big, great, great, great viewer. 
other decks, other cards we play in here. Two muscle dumbbells. I or bodybuilding dumbbells. I love bodybuilding dumbbells in this deck. I thought I was gonna hate it, but it's really cool to attach to your Garbodor because even if even if uh, a Zorak deck or a Glisspot deck Guzman's up Garbodor, they can't Oko it because bodybuilding dumbbells puts you at 140 HP. Now I'm gonna say this. I'm a huge advocate of saying no, no to dumbbells. But in Garbodor decks, I can, I can I can see it. I can definitely see a reason to play it. So I, I did like I do like it a lot in this deck. Putting yourself at 250 HP is pretty useful as well because even banded uh, banded Duskman can't knock you out. But for the most part, we're mainly gonna put be putting these on Garbodor for ability locking. Uh, of course, two choice bands, four float stones, and we are playing the. The unit energy, which is the reason why we can attack with Garbodor, because it's both a lightning and a psychic energy in this deck. I was almost thinking about putting a one of Kartana in here just so I could use his GX attack, <laughs> but like that's 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 neither here nor there. But that's an idea for you guys, because that can be a GX attack waiting to happen. And 12 basic energies for our snuggly generator. That's gonna be the deck, though, guys. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a couple of games. We'll be back when we find one. Alright, so I don't know if I'm cutting this out. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, but if I don't cut it out, hold up. Hey guys, we're back. Uh, we're playing against uh, looking like Guard 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 of War Zoark. How do we be Guard of War Zoark? Well, ideally we can ability lock them. Ideally, so hopefully we can get some lockage going real quickly. And if we can set up our board, that could be nice. It's going to be kind of awkward because these uh, Zoarks are pretty scary. But our opening hand is really nice. We do have turn one Lele, but we don't have turn one. We don't have a draw supporter. So what I think I'm going to do is just use Lele for a draw supporter instead. Uh, I'm thinking we're going to play Sycamore <laughs> because I don't know. I, I want an Ultra Ball for another Pikachu or even a Pachirisu. But I don't know. So here's one of those matchups where Trash Knight is not going to be super useful because if, if it is Guardy, he's just going to go ahead and shuffle back in all of his tools. So I'm not, or all of his items, so I'm not too worried about it. I guess we can put one in there on the board just to scare my opponent. We'll see what happens. He's going to play Lele. Probably get out his Bridget and go from there. If we top deck a draw supporter, I'll probably play Bridget on my own. I just hate that we don't have an energy a float stone. Or a draw supporter, because ideally I play Sycamore here, get Patrisu down, a bunch of Pikachu's down, and a draw supporter as well, uh, and like a Floatstone and an Energy. So that's ideal. We have a large count of those cards, so hopefully we can draw into them. It just sucks that we have such a weird opening hand, such a weird opening hand. Also, I don't even want to play Sycamore because I want to put Raichu back because we play such a low count. I don't want to discard any Raichus if I don't have to. And this Zorak is kind of scary. Because once again, Zora can do the do against, uh, do do pretty well against our team. Look, we even have a Garbodor here. Uh, it's so awkward. I mean, technically, what I could do is just Bridget here, and then next turn Lele. So I think what I'm gonna do is just do that. I just hate that I'm a whole turn behind this way. So let me go ahead and Bridget here, and then I don't have bench space for Lele, but I'm gonna assume that he's gonna knock me out next turn. If he doesn't knock me out, then I can Guzma and start Pachirisuing. But I'm just going to go with the assumption that something will bite the bullet next turn. You only have one Patrice as well, so something to keep in mind. But yeah, I'm going to pass it up here. Next turn we can evolve this, evolve this, Ultra Ball, probably play Lele into, into Sycamore, and then ideally get cards that we could actually use. So let's see what happens. Hopefully my opponent just knocks me out. He's going to end me, which I'm 100% down with because my hand was kind of stuck. Well, so hopefully our hand isn't super stuck though right now. Floatstone into energy would be really nice. Dude, why don't we get energy cards? We play 14, 15 energies in this deck. Hello? 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 Why did we get like seven of the same exact cards from last game too? Yikes. Today's not looking like a good day to play Pokemon, boys and girls. It is looking like one of those days. But hopefully we can power through. Power through with uh, not poor draws. But also, for those of you that missed it, I did upload a... A... Uh, Garchomp Lucario de uh, deck video thingy where I did play my updated deck list. And it's something I kind of want to start doing from now on. Ooh, he's going to just empty his hand into just Guardi. That means he's not attacking me this turn, which is great since he can't trade. Um, but if you guys missed that video... Oh, I shouldn't evolve yet. But what else am I going to do? I mean, he's, he's stuck in trade mode right now, I guess. I just hate that I can't do anything. 
So I'm going to pass. This is so bad. Pokemon. Hello? Hook me up, bruh. I support you all day, every day. Hook a man up. What's he trading? What do you get? I guess he traded rare candy. Don't get anything useful, right, bro? Of course he gets a Guzma. Of course he goes for Garbodor. Of course I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Ugh, man. Ugh, man. Alright, can I get at least a Lightning Energy here? If I can get a Lightning Energy, I can just patch a Risu. Or, uh, Bridget, get another one, and then Lightning Energy? Come on! I mean, I'm not too upset, but this is still really annoying. <sighs> Give me a lightning energy and a trubbish here, please. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, I want to limit everything as much as I can. Now we can start... At least do one Snuggly Generator. Then we can Sycamore the following turn. So that's pretty good. We can attach this to the next turn as well. So we can Snuggle Generator at least once. It just sucks that like he's going to knock me out here. <laughs> But it is what it is when you're playing Zoark. It's such a weird thing. Like it's one of those decks where like you definitely want that turn one Pachirisu. Which is why it's so weird that he's only playing a two count. Because if you get turn one Pachirisu, you're so much better than getting turn two. Because uh, there's too much Zoark, there's too much fighting, there's a lot of things that can Oko your Pachirisu. So we only have three energies on the board right now. But next turn we can attack, which is handy. And you can knock me out. He does yeah, he hits eighty, so you can knock me out here. It's a little bit awkward, but it is what it is. Um, ideally, next turn, we get a Garbodor, because we're going to Sycamore here. He already knocked out one. Is he Guzming? Oh, I was about to say, is he Guzming again? No. That'd be so bad. I don't want him to knock out more Trubbishes. Imagine if he had, like, a second patch Risu down. All right, so now Zora can start doing the do. This thing only hits for 80, so 80 is not a 2 KO. If he gets a Choice Band, it's a 2 KO. But right now it is not a 2 a KO. An N would probably be better here, so I would love to like top deck an N or a or a, a Lele. Those could be nice. Lightning energy is definitely not bad. Dumbbells, and I guess we'll just stick more here and hope for the best. Hook a man up. Wrong trash lanch, buddy. Wrong. Oh my I just look look at my hand, bro. It's so bad. This deck is seriously this deck seriously has issues. This deck seriously has issues. There's like some major issues in on this deck right now. All right, paralyze. Nope. Yeah, this deck has some major issues. Some major issues, bro. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. I just don't get it. We drew seven dead cards. Seven. Seven. <laughs> seven dead cards, bro. Not a single ultra ball in sight. We haven't we haven't even played one this game. Not a singular Ultra Ball on sight. We're about to get blown away by a Gardevoir. The only thing we can maybe do is just paralyze and hope for the best. We don't have an end in hand either because an end would be great. My opponent's gonna end though, so that's not awful. We're gonna get nothing but good cards we could have used last turn. Watch, we're gonna get Garbodor and we're gonna get Raichu here. Oh well, it's not what I got, but still. It still stands that I'm upset. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to super rod down a. I'm gonna have to paralyze. That's, I'm based on right now. I'm just hoping and banking and praying on paralysis because we don't even have draw support in here right now. I'm gonna have to shuffle some things back into the deck. And yeah, paralysis is gonna have to come through, like majorly come through for a couple of turns as we sit here and be sad. Uh, Can't really generate her anymore. Guess I can get down another trouble in the deck over an energy. I get attacked here. I feel like attaching here is better. I guess we can guarantee paralysis if we do get out a thing. All right, give me a heads. Come on, Pikachu. Come on, Pikachu. Nope. Pikachu is not my friend on my side today, bro. Pikachu is not on my side today. I don't know, I'm trying to think of ways I could have played this game differently, and I don't think we even had many play options in this game. Why do you do that if he's just going to trade twice anyways? That seems really weird. What's he trying to get here? Like, what's his goal? He can just keep attacking me. I guess he could, like, go for, like, some Lele shenanigans, try to knock out Lele in one hit. 
Or like guarantee a Lele next turn. Maybe as a Guzman hand. I don't know. I do not know, but it looks like we're going to go for one more paralysis this game. Oh, he's playing something, so he doesn't have a Guzman hand. I guess he's just trying to dig for a Guzma, or... I mean, Double Puzzle just got immensely weakened, so I don't think he's digging for a Double Puzzle. 180 damage. That's quite a bit of damage, good sir. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. I can discard an energy. That could be pretty bad. How many items does he have gone? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know. It's not super useful. Let's get a nuzzle here. Nope, three tails. Well, boys and girls, this is where we forfeit the game. <laughs> and we're going to leave that one in, too. We're not even going to cut it out. Usually I cut out bad games like that, but like, it just, I just want to give you guys an example of a game that's horrible. And or bomb luck. Cause I, don't wanna, I just don't feel like recording for like 30 minutes. Uh, 30 minutes just to get one good game. I'm just gonna leave that one in give you guys an idea of what it's like to clunk and miss and whiff and everything Like it's it's kind of like, you know, never mind. I'm not gonna say anything. I was gonna say something that I don't I don't want to like anger anyone <laughs> So forget that but you know, this is, it is what it is. No trash rats trash rats. I'm not the biggest fan of it I feel I feel like I've had way too many good games to call this deck a bad deck, but I've had not a large amount of bad games, but I've had a couple bad games. Like, this is an example of what happens a lot of the time when I play this deck. Usually I have Ultra Ball. I can get out Patrice re relatively easily. Uh, and we and I usually have Turmoil Bridget, right? That's usually what happens. We're playing against Greninja, though. Greninja? I don't think Greninja's a terrible matchup, especially if they whiff their Field Blowers. I don't know if we're playing against Greninja. We could be playing against Dougie, for all I know. Oh, we're definitely playing against not neither of those. He's playing Fire. Uh, is he playing Volcanion? I guess it's kind of weird. I don't know what the deal is here, but if I can, oh, I guess we have loading issues. Hopefully my internet's not bad today because I do plan on streaming after this. All right, we're playing against Volcanion, which is interesting. Uh, a Volcanion we could probably handle. I think we can handle some Volcanion. We can patch Risu this turn, which is great. So this is an example of a good game. We can get out two Pikachus and a, uh, yeah, we'll get two Pikachus out and a Garbodor. Since Garbodor is so good this matchup, we might as well. It's not super great that we're getting out two Pikachus, but we can Snuggle Generator. I don't know why it makes me select Pokemon. They're all the same energies. They're all the same Pikachus. There's literally no difference on them. Just attach them, bro. Don't don't waste my time. Force me to click. But if you guys have not seen the um, the Garchomp Lucario versus Raichu deck yet uh, video yet, it's a TCGO video. It's something I want to do. It's where I'm where I give you guys updates about deck lists that are popular, that are high demand, that people want to see, and things that I've actually worked on. So legitimate working on decks. Like it's not like what I usually do, where I'm just like oh, I'll play this and upload it, like I am with this. It's more one of those decks that I actually test IRL because I enjoy playing the deck. So I really enjoy playing right uh, Lucario Garchomp, and I've done a lot of testing, a lot of changes. And uh, it's one of those things where I'm just like, hey, I play this deck, I enjoy the deck so much, I want to show it to you guys again. But there's no point in doing a full out TCGO live for it because it wouldn't do anything for anybody. So uh, it's, a, it's an example where we get to do one game, show you guys the deck list at the end of the video, boom, bam. So if you guys want to check that out, feel free to. It is chilling in the description. Oh, this is super awkward because I could snaggle generator again, or I could evolve into Raichu now to avoid any shenanigans. Shenanigans could definitely happen because he has. He, I'm sure he'll have Guzma. We only have one Pikachu down. I think I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna evolve one of them into Raichu to evolve and to avoid any shenanigans. Uh, this is weak to Electric, so we can get Okos on that throughout the game. Perfect. This is exactly what I wanted to see. More, more of things I like. We can Ability Lock. We can bench both these things down. We can Snuggle Generator again. So he can't really get out of the situation very easily. He doesn't have access to a lot of things. And we're about to thin out the decks completely out, out of energy. So at this point, Sycamores are going to be friends. We can even nuzzle here. That's really cool. I didn't even think about that. I actually don't think I've ever nuzzled to another Patrizu. But that's lots of energies on the board. This is a prime target. As long as we can draw in, against us some Ultra Balls and Raichus, we should be fine. Brooklyn does not help us at all. So unfortunate there. My opponent's just getting on a bunch of Pokemon. I can Oko, and I am a huge fan of that. Ideally, he can't knock me out this turn unless he plays Field Blower, so that's pretty cool. I'm sure he's trying to load up a Ho-Oh, -Oh, which I think is a horrible idea. <laughs> I think it's a horrible idea. If I can get a Guzma this turn, that could be really nice. 
as well. That way I can attach both energies in my hand. That is looking like a threat. That's something I want to Oko real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're hitting for 160 right now. 180 with this manual attachment I'm about to do. So let's see what we can do with this. Oh, yep, that is a win. So there we go. That's what that's what usually happens with this deck. I'll say that right now. At the very least, I'm confident in saying that happens a lot more often than that first game. But you guys get an example of what I'm talking about. Also, I dropped my pen, and I super hate that because my room... No, oh, found it. My room is like... There's so much crap everywhere right now because I ended up cleaning out my closet, and I, I'm throwing away a bunch of old clothes, and by throwing away, I mean giving away. I'm putting them all into trash bags so I can put them into Goodwill. And my bed is like really big. I just, like I said, I just got a bed. Oh, look at this. This is exactly what I'm talking about. See, we have turn one Bridget. We have a draw supporter and energy in hand. This is exactly what I'm talking about. This is what happens to me most of that. And we're playing against Volcanian again. Volcanian, dude. This is what happens. Don't play Volcanian in front of me, man. You know how I feel about Volcanian. You know I have feelings about Volcanian. You, you come in here with that Volcanian nonsense, and I come in here with the heat, all right? <laughs> I, I bring the heat. I'm steaming up. By the way. No, for those of you that actually watched the entirety of these videos, especially after the first loss, especially after that first battle where we lost, uh, I'm not saying that I have a crazy, insane, amazing rap video coming out to celebrate 3K, but we might just have the juice coming up soon. The juice just might be showing up real soon. This is my only Lele, so I can ability lock after this pretty safely. Uh, yes, we'll get out two Pikachus and a Trubbish, and we'll snaggly generator. Assuming Bridges not prize. I didn't check Bridges prize, but if we have three Bridges prize, we deserve to lose after all that snut smack I just talked. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I should have probably checked my deck, but I'm just not in that mood right now. I'm super chill right now. One, two, three. I'm like super chill right now. I'm just chillaxing. We'll snaggly generator here. One, two, three. And boom. And there we go. Plus, I haven't uploaded, I haven't recorded since Saturday, and today is Friday. I haven't recorded in almost a week. I took that week off because I spent 10 days straight recording and giving myself major headaches to make sure every video was good for you guys. So I hope you guys appreciate it. You guys definitely showed the support. We hit 3K, which is something I didn't think we'd hit for at least 20 more days. So that was pretty exciting. I'm not going to lie. I'm so glad I'm not playing in here. Ooh, yeah, we'll evolve one of them. We'll do what we did last game. We'll evolve one of them into Raichu. Uh, we're gonna play some of the years. I'm actually gonna preserve that energy because this could be useful for Garbodors in case I want to play them later. Yeah, this works out better, anyways. I'm gonna definitely ability lock. Uh, I'm sure we'll run into Guzma later. Yeah, I'm sure we'll run into Guzma later. I'll attach here for the turn, and we will snaggly generate it one more time. And I think this will be the last one before we actually start attacking. Hopefully we can get a Guzma. I would like to top deck one. We only play two though, and there's only one in the discard pile, so there's that. But two, four, six, seven. Yeah, we hit four quite a bit of damage, and my boy is stuck. And yep, there's another W. Looks like we're not allowed to play games today unless we are uh, just body bagging. Uh, unless we're losing, I mean. All right, one more game, then we'll end the video. I'm gonna make. I want to make this video relatively short because I want to make sure it's editing. Also, I think, hopefully, if everything goes well, which is why I want to make this video short as well, uh, this will video will be uploaded in 1080p. I, for some reason, I thought I was uploading in 1080p, but this whole time I've been uploading in 720p. Uh, I think it's because I have this new, this I downloaded a new program. I mean, I've, I, I reinstalled OBS, because I deleted it because of all these shenanigans that were going on that were causing trouble, so I deleted it. And I re I reinstalled it, and I think it downgraded me. Perfect. See, exactly what I'm talking about. Look at this. Look at this. Another turn one Pachirisu. Floatstone is switching out of Pikachu. Attach an energy to Pachirisu. Sycamore for the turn after that. The only thing that sucks is that we're losing a Raichu in the process. Uh, and we're playing against this again, which also sucks. But if we can ability lock, we're going to be in a good place. So, ideally, my opponent doesn't get an amazing turn one. He is playing the non-Zoark version. I am not the biggest fan of Zoark Gardevoir. I know that it just won recently. <laughs> I think it's pretty good for that meta. Uh, but I don't know, man. I just feel like it's really risky with fighting being as popular as it is. At least, I don't know. I feel like he just he dodged a lot of really good matchups or bad matchups, whatever you want to call it. Look at this. Who needs the Ultra Ball now? Please don't end me. Please don't end me. Look, man, I have, like, the perfect hand. Don't end me. I can, I can even float some of the trubbish on the bench. I can Ultra Ball away and put down a 
another nuzzler. Another nuzzle man. <laughs> Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I can... What? That was a weird noise. Uh, but I can parallel city you, which is really good for me. Just like, give me this, man. See, this is what I'm talking about. The first game was a mulligan. That's all it was. It was just a simple mulligan. Don't end me, bro. Don't do it. He's thinking. Ah, what is that noise? Hold on, guys. All right, well, I had to tell them to stop making the noise. But our perfect game went from a perfect sadness. Some some from greatness to true horror. Here we are. Here we are. This is where we this is where we were. This is what we're doing. This is all all wrong. Perfect game to a perfect nightmare. Oh well, we can play later the next turn and draw sport, I guess. Maybe we can get off a sweet nuzzle this turn. Nuzzle. We're getting a new. We're getting a nuzzle reprint, by the way, guys. Because I know this one's technically going out of rotation. No, this is Shiny Legends. Is that Shiny Legends, or is that X Y Base? I actually don't know. I think it's Shiny Legends. I can actually double check. Speaking of double checking, I really need to like put cards in my binder. I have this big old list of cards that I want for my birthday. Um, that I'm trying to get people to sell me, so that I can have them. Uh, because I would like them. Okay, he's not knocking me out this turn. Luckily. We'll see what he's doing, though. Let's see. Is this Shiny Legends? And I'm hoping that I can get them all. That is Shiny Legends. All right, cool. It just I don't know why I thought that was XY base, but that is definitely Shiny Legends. Is that... Maybe it's... No, no. No, that is XY base. They, they really look similar, though. They're both, like, heart-shaped. That's actually really interesting. Well, regardless, I know we're getting... We just got a promo in Japan of a nuzzle of Nuzzle P P Pikachu. So we should be getting Nuzzle Pikachu sticking in the format. So that's pretty exciting for those of you that want to keep playing uh, Pikachu Pachirisu. But ideally, we draw a couple Nuzzlers. And we, bless, we play Sycamore this turn. That's the ideal turn, right? Uh, we, we did the thing with the parallel. Oh, we even got Bridget. Oh, boy. I think we just get those two. We have Trubbish on the bench already. Because we need space for Lele. Yay. We can snuggly generator. Alright. So I think we potentially do it one more time. We'll just have to see what, how that works. Uh, if everything goes our way. But we got energies on the board now. Uh, I wa I really wanted a fourth Pikachu down. Or even like another Pachirisu so I could keep generating. But I don't know if he's going to knock me out this turn. He does need to get Gardevoir. I'm not too sure. I'm not too confident in the fact that he can definitely find it this turn. Because he has the parallel down, so he can't lele super easily. Oh, never mind. He's found it. <laughs> but now he needs another energy card. Can he get it? He can also just get Octillery this turn instead of Gardevoir. We'll see what happens. I feel like Octillery is better because it keeps you consistent throughout the game. Uh, until I, of course, inevitably, inevitably ability lock him. If I can top deck an energy card here, what I or a. Uh, uh, No, if I draw, that's what I'm talking about. If I can top deck a draw supporter here, um, then I might try to get Trash Lanch and then play the draw supporter. Not Trash Lanch, um, Ability Lock, tr um, Garbo Toxin, and then play, then play the draw supporter. Because ideally, I would like to be able to stop him from using Artillery throughout the game. And he's an end. I mean, we are getting three extra cards out of this, so ideally, we can get something useful, and hopefully, he whiffs his Guardies. I just don't want to be knocked out here. All right, we did get the Trash Lanch. We have our own N. So it's not the end of the world. He's got Gallade, though. That's really bad. If he has another energy in hand, that's, like, super bad. Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> uh, hmm. I might have to paralyze and hope for the best, honestly. It might just be that time. Because I'm going to end him so he can't Permanition again. He can't Octillery either. He's going to draw five cards, which is obviously not super great for me, but I have to ability lock him and hopefully, hopefully 
pull off of first head because I don't want to knock I don't want any of my Pokemon being knocked out. In order to hit him, I have to hit 160 without choice band help, obviously. So that means I have to have seven energies on the board to hit 160, because that's 140 plus a 20. Uh, right now we have a whopping three. <laughs> a whopping three. All right, let's go ahead and turn off this crap. Uh, how many items does he have gone? Two. That means we're only hitting him for 80. It's not enough damage yet. Uh, just in case, though. Actually, it's probably smarter to attach this, because if I do get a Raichu, I can hit him with the Volt Tackle thingy. Whatever it's called. I think it's called Volt Tackle. All right, we got more Nuzzlers. We got another Garbodor. No, we got some shenanigans here. We don't have a draw supporter though, but we already ability lock, so it's not like the end of the world if we don't have one. <sighs> Maybe Patrice would have been smarter, but it is what it is at this point. We just have to, we just have to do this. We haven't landed a single head. This reminds me of my games I played with Steven. I was playing against Steven the other day. I was testing Lucario Chomp versus uh, versus Duskman, and <laughs> those games were kind of wild. I played Timer Ball, right? We played a couple of games, and I flipped Timer Ball. Oh, he's on blower away. That sucks. I mean, we have flowstone in hand. It's a little bit annoying, though. Um, and parallel is going to be gone as well. Yikes. Um, we I played timer ball five times that game, which means I flipped ten coins. All right? I got tails nine times in a row. How does that happen? Well, when you're ore bomb, these things happen. <laughs> so, guys, please donate to the... Make have have make Orbum have better luck fund. It's very 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 difficult fund uh, to set, but like I I would really appreciate it because you know I don't I don't have luck and I would like luck. Luck I heard is pretty useful. I need a draw supporter here. Luckily we have Flowstone, so even if he does knock us out here, we can just retreat and then make a decision then. If I top deck an Ultra Ball, I can get Lele. If I top take a draw supporter, that'd be great. But this is where I'm talking about. Like sometimes you get stuck like this, and you don't have a draw supporter, and your draw supporter count is like really low. I mean, sure you play six, which is like, I mean, six is even low before Cynthia, right? So like it's still not great. You don't play Zoark, so it's not like it's not like you can reliably get cards in your hand all the time. Guardy's a mega threat, a super mega threat, and Guardy will knock out. Once I knock this out, Guardy will knock out a Raichu. And I can trash a lanch because he has a couple items down here. One, two, three, four, five. So trash lanching is an option now to knock this thing out. So ideally I can do that, but I need to get both the energy card and the trash lanch on the board in order for that to work. So <laughs> it's not looking the best for me. It's not looking the best for me. This man is having a tough time deciding where he wants to attach his energy. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh. Well. This has been a weird video, <laughs> because we really didn't play out a game. But let's just go ahead and assume that we lost that game, because it looked pretty bad. So, here's a deck list. Let me know what changes you would want, you would make. I don't really know where I would start, honestly. I feel like Raichu and Garbodor, they go really well together. I like the Raichu-Garbodor thing. The question is, like, I don't know what to do after that, right? I, I guess you could cut a Bridget. If you want to be that guy, you could cut out the Parallels. Parallels are really useful, though, so I don't know how I feel about that. And then you could just add, like, maybe a Pal Pad and an extra N and an extra Sycamore. Maybe an extra Sycamore and an extra Cynthia. Uh, maybe you can cut out some Energies, maybe. I don't know. There's, like, a couple things. There's a couple things that you can cut here. Definitely something I want to look into. But regardless, thank you guys all for watching this video. It's, it was a very weird one. It was a very weird one. Um, I feel like we had ways to play around that matchup. Like, we could have got Trash Lanch. He could have knocked out Trash Lanch. We could have Voltailed with a Garbodor and an N, which we didn't have any more N. So, with a Garbodor lock going and a Voltail, we could potentially stop a Guzma play. 
and then knock out the Gardevoir the following turn, and then all of a sudden he doesn't have any attackers on the board. So we still had options to win that game. It was just we weren't allowed to play out that game. I guess he disconnected. I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you guys, but it is what it is there. Drop a like on the video if you haven't already. Subscribe to all the good jazz. Let me know what decks you want me to see me play next, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.